Hey guys, if the response type of your API in the test is JSON, then it is eminent to also validate the JSON schema. In part two of this video series, I talked about model, DTO and ORM concepts through which developers manipulate database. In brief, developers serialize request body, which would be either JSON or XML into model or DTO object and then perform insert and update operations in database. Likewise, they deserialize model or DTO object into either JSON or XML and share the same with client as response body. Therefore, if model is not designed correctly, we can't assure the integrity of our data. So we can say that JSON schema describes the structure of our model or DTO and hence JSON schema validation is one of the most important API tests we must design. So the agenda of this video is on your screen now. We would talk about what is JSON schema, an analogy to understand it better and finally how to test JSON schema in rest assured. So what is JSON schema? By definition, we can say that JSON schema is a vocabulary that allows you to annotate and validate JSON documents. The key benefit JSON schema offers are, it describes your existing data format, it provides clear human and machine readable documentation. It validates data which is useful for A, automated testing, B, ensuring quality of client submitted data. Now for simplicity sake, a tester can compare JSON schema with a SQL table schema. I suppose you already know basics of SQL and have worked with tables in SQL. Now a table in database represents an entity and so is the purpose of a model. Each row in a table contains a list of attributes. Each attribute carries a data type and some set of constraints like not null, default value, primary key, etc. Likewise, a JSON schema document can describe the type of the entity. Broadly, it would be either an object if just one row is returned or an array if multiple rows are returned. Then it contains the list of properties which are nothing but attributes and data type and constraints information about each property. So in the API under test, a member response contain ID, name and gender. So for ID, the type is integer, minimum value is one and multiple of is also set to one. Likewise, name property is of type string and then you see these three validations okay these are basically the constraints and so on so i hope now you understand what json schema is so how to test json schema in rest assured so it's a three-step process as you could see on to the screen step number one is create the json file and place that in the class path now to create the json file and to do some reading about different validations that we can apply to enrich our json schema document i mean these are the two links okay and we're going to see them in a while so step number two is we have to add the json schema validator module now why do we have to add this because this module is not part of the default rest assured package okay so which means that you have to add it now this module again is provided by io rest assured only but you got to add it all right and step number three is we have to run the json schema assertion using static method matches json schema in path and this methods come from this json schema validator class okay which is there inside this particular package all right so that's about the theory let's jump into the coding part so guys then the first step is we have to create the json schema file now where do you have to place it you have to put that under src test resources so i've created this json schema folder and i have this single member.json file okay now this schema the first thing it tells about the current version so at the time of recording the latest version i believe is uh, seven so this is what you have then you say this type is equal to object now let me explain this to you so there are two types of types <laughs> uh, object which is dictionary and then you may also come across array which would be then uh, called as collection okay so i go to postman and i have this get a single member endpoint all right i hit enter 
and I get a single member back. Okay, and this particular thing is called as dictionary in JSON, which has got the key and value pair. But in schema, the same dictionary is being called as object. Now we have this another endpoint through which we can retrieve all the members. So when I hit the send button. You see, this is a collection of members and hence it is called as collection. But then in JSON schema, the same thing would be called as array. All right. Then comes the properties. Okay. So single member endpoint is this and it has got these three properties, ID, name, and gender. All right. Then I'm describing uh, each one of these properties individually. Okay, so I'm saying type is equal to integer and these are some of the validations that are applied onto this field. Okay, now Who provides you this ideally developers, but if they can't provide you don't worry if you see the response copy this and I'll introduce you to one website, which is json schema.net you come in here paste your stuff So copy your response, come in here, paste your stuff, hit the submit button. Okay. Now this is what you get out of the box. So you have the properties. It tells you the type of it. But remember, I mentioned you also have to provide in the validations. Now, what all different validations I can apply on this particular property for that guys, I encourage you to read this particular website. Okay. Understanding JSON schema. Now, depending upon the type of the element, okay, for example, in our case, it is integer. So I click on integer and then it tells me besides type is equal to integer, there are a lot of things that I can do. Okay, for example, multiples of, I can also check the range, all right, and so on. Okay, same way, if I go back and check for the string one, okay, so I click on the string. So in here, you see length regular expression and any format. Okay. So I go back in here. All right. This name is of type string. Then I can apply this minimum length, maximum length. And in the pattern, I can describe this regular expression. Okay. It is very important that besides the data type, we also provide in this additional information. If we want to thoroughly test the model or DTO object being developed by the developers. All right. Then same is the case with gender, but then this additional property. So we are telling that in the response, okay, there should not be any other properties beside these and every object in the response, okay, must contain these properties because these are the required properties. All right. Same way. If I open this all members guys. So in here you see the type is equal to array. But then in array, you have got the items. Okay. And then you tell each item you describe that. Okay. So then you say the item is of type object because this is what you see in the get all members response. This is an item. Okay. This is an object. All right. So this is how you design it. But this is an interesting website. So you get this right now you click on this edit button. And you pick the respective property that you want to edit. You click on edit and then in here. Okay. What do you see? You see the minimum value. Okay. You click on this I button and you set its value. Same way. Any other thing that you want to add. Okay. You just have to click on this I right now you save it. And if we go back to the code now, now you see those two additional checks are being added. Okay. So you have got a you know good UI through which you can add or enrich your JSON schema. All right. So just copy this stuff, create a file under SRC test resources, since there would be a lot of APIs. So yeah, creating a folder would make uh, much more sense because then I can categorize it. All right. And I place all my schema files in here. All right. So that completes step one. Now step two is we have to add the module and for that we have to open the official website of rest assured. We have to scroll down and go to usage guide. Open that and then you see JSON schema validation. Click on it. I have to scroll down and then this is the module that we have to add in our project. Okay. 
Now you can also find this module on Maven Central Repository. Just make sure that you pick the IEO rest assured one. Okay. Now in the pom.xml, we have to add this dependency and I'm also going to mention the scope as test. So I format this and save everything. All right. So let us close this now. So now in here, after this get, we say dot then this will give us the validatable response. And on that we have this method dot assert that. And after that we say dot body. Okay. And in here we have to provide the JSON file path. But for that, we require that static method, which comes from JSON schema validator class. Okay. So this is the class. Then we say dot and in here now you see a lot of methods. Okay. So you see JSON schema you can provide in the file. All right. Which means that you can place it anywhere in your project. Okay. You don't need to place that inside SRC test resources. Okay. Then you can read the file and provide it. Same way you have the input stream and reader and so on. Okay. But since we have put that in SRC test resources, so this is the method that we have to use matches JSON schema in class path like so. And in here from the SRC test resources, you have to provide the full path. So in our case, it is JSON schema. So this is the folder. So we say uh, JSON schema. And then we have this file single member dot JSON like this. That's it. Save it and execute it. So now this test case will pass. Okay, it's pass. So let's make some changes in our JSON schema. So for that what I'm going to say is the minimum length has to be 20. Okay, so we have updated the name field. All right. So look at the response. The response is name is equal to Tina. It contains only four characters. That's the length of it. Okay. Now we have increased the length to 20. So that should fail now. Let's save it. Close this and ex re execute our test case. All right, there you go. So test case is failed. And the reason is Tina is too short. Okay, length is four required was 20. Okay. So guys, this is about JSON schema. I hope you like this. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.